one of the most satisfying things in life is to see a venture you worked tirelessly to build blossom into life and become a staple for all. Such was the case in Lafayette Town, capital of Nasarawa State in Nigeria, as Delta 2023 gubernatorial aspirant Olorogu Kenneth Bagi graced the third national conference of the Faculty of Social Sciences at the Federal University of Lafayette on the 26th of October 2021 to deliver a lecture on the theme National Security, COVID-19 and Social Issues in Nigeria. During the lecture, Olorogu Kenneth Bagi received an earth shattering ovation as dignitaries, students acknowledged his presence having better the school in February 2011 during his time as Minister of State for Education in Nigeria. His record of establishing educational edifice across the country in record time has still not been matched by any minister from any ministry in the history of Nigeria as within his first months as Minister of State for Education, Olorogu Kenneth Bagi established 13 universities. 14 polytechnics, 16 colleges of education, and countless secondary schools in places where they were needed across the country. His impeccable and tenacious drive for education sets him apart from all, hence the rousing ovation that greeted him came as no surprise. The University of Lafayette, founded in 2011 with Professor Ekanem Ikwi Brady as his panel vice chancellor, it has eight faculties and started initially with two 243 students but today houses over 5,000. When Olorogu Kenneth Bagi mounted the podium as a guest speaker, he gave a resounding lecture that was met with wide applause. 16 colleges of education across the world where currently not exist. I created 14 polytechnics across Nigeria where it currently do not exist. At least to be suffered to our children, having met the requirements to go to school, we fed the whole of the African region from Ghana to everywhere to Europe to Scandinavian countries where our children will have to go to the teachers education of learning languages to be able to go to school. We have completed the first leg of all universities we are like today and want to pay you thanks as the third vice chancellor of one of my great and not going around universities to deliver lectures. Now that I'm retired, it is my joy. I see buildings like this, enjoy the that. I am in Nasarawa University of Lafayette. I'm proud to be here. It makes me very, very happy. Very, very happy. If you relate a COVID 19 situation and the situation that came thereafter with the issue of any SARS. It's an eye-opener that government needs to wake up, government needs to do the needful, government needs to take business. It is one thing for you to say you want to participate in government. It's another thing for you to actually deliver on your applied job. The security of the country totally totally is in a state of anarchy. Today, as we have it, we should thank our door. We have become, if the defense minister of the country can say that, we should call and ourselves to protect ourselves. That tells you the state at which we have cascaded as a people Who's fault? Is it the fault of the Biden of the law? No. My position is clear. The fault of Mr. President. Not this president alone. All successive president have taken the rules. 
when they brought their mother, their fathers, they do security. And the president started talking to heads of security agencies, talked to the IG directly, talked to the SSS directly, talked to the Navy, talked to the Air Force, and talked to the Army. What then is the duties and responsibility of the National Security Advisor? Come on. So the law breaks down in the security situation in Nigeria. This thing will happen more than soon for us to have reason and cause to sit together and find out where it is all go wrong. Having said so, I want to thank my children for listening. I want to thank you, faculty members, for having me with you. Most of you can find something there. I am happy to listen and find out that I'm just part of you. And I want to say I'm very pleased. Thank you for this opportunity. The event was well attended by top dignitaries, some of which include the Emir of Lafia, Justice Sidi Baje, retired, the Governor of Nasarawa State, Engineer Abdullah Sule, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary on Education, the third and present Vice Chancellor of the school, Professor Shehu Abdurrahman, and more. The Emir of Lafia also spoke during the event, highlighting some of the ills of the society, focusing on the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and why Africa must be self-sufficient. Know that we don't have to depend on anybody. If we have survived the pre-vaccine period of the COVID, we can as well exist and continue with our lives without anybody. What is required of us is the will. There is no way, no matter how good a government is, no matter how good those policies are, and the will of the government on how they will want to carry out that will, the people must have the will to go along with the wishes of the government. And if the people are reluctant, which I'm sorry to say that we have continued to be reluctant people, there is nothing anybody can do. We have to change our ways. Forget about our dependence on a fellow human. We are created equal and can do it if we have the will. In, in the media chat, Olorogu Kenneth Bagi buttressed on issues raised during his presentation, suggesting solutions for a better society. Put it this way, the major challenge we have in this country is security. Why do you want to have a man sit down as the Inspector General of Police in Abuja, controlling what is going on in Nasara? It will never work. It has never worked. It didn't work in the civilized world. But out of our oligarchian arrangement of wanting to say we have territories, we have powers, we have all of that, what is important, break the police into a local government police, break the police into a state police and a federal police, and let people take responsibility. The man who is Inspector General of Police is not better than the Nasrawa man. It's not better than the Kaduna man. It's not better than... It's a human being like us. Give back responsibility to those who are supposed to have it and let us see how we can manage ourselves. Everything it touches turns into gold. All is establishment while in government are blossom with a plump. Its test for development is unparalleled. Hence, Deltans must count themselves lucky to have such a gift from God in Bagi ready to catapult her into the stratosphere. 2020 theory is just around the corner. And Deltans must be alert to scrutinize the resume of Guba aspirants and with its industrialization agenda it's already been felt across the nation education-wise, 2020 theory represents an opportunity for Deltans to choose a one true individual prepared to grab the bull by the horn and deliver the dividends of democracy. And without a doubt, Olorogu Kenneth Bagi completes every puzzle. In Lafia, Nasarawa State, you are watching Rero TV and my name is Akbarero Henry Akbos.